Good evening, everyone in quarantine. I'm Jules State, and welcome to the 19th Annual Directors Guild of Canada Awards Night 3. So before anyone asks, yes, you can take your centerpieces home with you at the end of the evening. Please do. Uh, I know for some of you nominated for the first time tonight, might feel like a bit of a drag that you're not getting the full, you know, glitz and glamour of the awards gala experience. For others, you've rushed home from set or crawled off the social distancing couch, maybe you showered, just to find out you've lost to one of our other exceptional nominees. But remember, this year you didn't have to pay for a babysitter to eat a hotel banquet, hall chicken, so in a way, we're all winners tonight, gang. Yeah. Tonight we are celebrating some of the year's best work in documentary film, miniseries, and movies for television. From Murder in the Snow in the final season of the three-time DGC award-winning miniseries, Cardinal, to the story of the art and activism of the legendary Robert Davidson in High to Modern, to Michelle Latimer's stunning exploration of the cultural colonization of indigenous peoples in North America in the film, An Inconvenient Indian. The works nominated tonight share stories from every corner of Canada, brought to life by some of the greatest design, editing, and filmmaking craft our country has to offer. To begin the night, I'd like to welcome DGC Awards Chair, Manny Danilo. Thank you, Jewel. As we're online tonight, I'd like to take the acknowledge, like to, would also like to acknowledge the traditional indigenous lands that we all live and gather on across Canada. This event takes place at many locations across can the country where we each enjoy the pleasure of living and working within an indigenous territory. As the awards chair, I'm here tonight to speak about participation and engagement in this year's 19th annual DGC Awards. I'd like to do a special thanks to our national staff and those that made these evenings happen, uh, especially Ian Gillespie, Marwa Sianabdu, uh, Renata Simpian, Gustav Lau, and Giacomo Beltrami, who without them, we probably will not have the success of this four evening. Um, on a personal note, I, I want to say a few words about someone who embodied engagement in the Guild in our community. Uh, Arv Graywell, a production designer, a friend from high school, who worked with many of us over the many years. He left our family, film family, too soon, and we will miss him. And our combined condolences to his family go out. So many of our members are more active in our guild than ever, and this shows in their participation in the awards this year. Total submissions were up by nearly 50 this year, with over 300 films and over 150 series and TV movies put forward for consideration. We have 140 members nominated in 2020 on a whopping 75 production, 
representing a broad range of our members' work from the BC coast to St. John's, Newfoundland. Tonight, we gather, uh, we uh, gather to honor the work and celebrate all members who made it possible. Thank you and enjoy the awards. Okay, now, before we get started, I wanna say we've seen some trends in the nominees this year, especially miniseries and TV movies, mainly Christmas and murder, both equally popular, apparently. Killer engagement, confessions of a killer, dead talk, all nominated tonight. Cardinal has the advantage, though. The show's been running for four seasons. You know, Cardinal has killed more people in North Bay than all of our nominees combined. It's true. And then there's Christmas, Christmas Chalet and Christmas 9 to 5, both up for multiple awards tonight. Congratulations. Christmas Chalet tells the story of the true meaning of Christmas, while Christmas 9 to 5 tells the story of the magic of Christmas. I just want to say I'm glad we live in a world where both those stories can be told. Oh, and speaking of trends, if any of you are thinking of thanking your kids tonight, don't bother. They're all on TikTok. They're not, they're not present. Okay, let's get going. Uh, first award of the night is Best Picture Editing Documentary. So please welcome DGC Editing Caucus Chair, Paul Day. Thank you, Jewel. Uh, in this unscripted world of documentary filmmaking, picture editing is like trying to assemble a puzzle without the picture on the top of the box. That's the feat undertaken by each of our next nominees. The nominees for Best Picture Editing Documentary are Caroline Christie with Roland Schleim, Meet the Future. Jennifer Abbott, The mag Magnitude of All Things. Lee Walker, Shadows of Freedom. Caroline Christie, First We Eat. And Nicholas Montgomery, No Roses on a Sailor's Grave. And the winner is, I've got an envelope. And the winner is Caroline Christie for Meet the Future. Congratulations, Caroline. Uh, thank you. I'm extraordinarily surprised. Um, I was really grateful to, to receive both of these nominations. And when I did Liz Marshall, um, um, uh, joke that my niche was meat. <laughs> Maybe not meat, but both films are about food security and therefore about climate change and arguably the most pressing issue of our time. I'm grateful to have been given the opportunity to Apparently I was on mute. Um, so I used to work alone in a room uh, where I don't actually talk to anybody anymore. Um, I'm grateful for the uh, collaboration of, with, uh, um, with Roland Schlimm and with whom I share this award. Congratulations to my fellow nominees. Thank you to the Directors Guild of Canada and thank you to Marshall for taking me on this journey. Thank you. Congratulations, Caroline. Okay. To present the Alan King Award for Excellence in Documentary, please welcome Emmy-winning and Oscar-nominated documentarian, as well as winner of multiple DGC and Canadian Screen Awards, Peter Raymond. Thank you, Jewel. I'm honored to uh, present the Alan King Award. I was uh, a friend of Alan, and he was my mentor when I made my first short drama film 32 years ago at the Canadian Film Centre. Alan was a passionate and powerful filmmaker, and I'm sure he'd be delighted with the nominees tonight. So the nominees for the Alan King Award for Excellence in Documentary are Young Chang, This Is Not a Movie. Michelle Latimer, Inconvenient Indian. Claude Guimain for High Wire, Sur la Code Red. Charles Wilkinson for Haida Modern, and Danielle Sturk for El Toro. And the winner of the Alan King Award is 
Michelle Latimer, Inconvenient Indian. Congratulations, Michelle, so, so well deserved. Thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> uh, I wanna thank, um, first of all, I wanna thank my fellow nominees. Um, I, I love you, Young Chang, <laughs> and I'm in beautiful company, so thank you. Um, I wanna thank all the people that voted, and uh, I wanna thank my producers, Jesse Wente, Stuart Henderson, and Justine Pimlet at the NFB, as well as Anita Lee at the NFB, and um, my executive at Bell Media, Michelle McMahon. I wanna share this award with Katie Chipperfield, my editor, because I really feel we created this film together, and I'm really, really proud of the work we did and our continued collaboration. Um, I wanna thank Thomas King, all the artists, the elders and land defenders, and I wanna dedicate this award to the land defenders across Canada who are fighting for treaty rights right now as we speak. Um, Thomas King said the truth about stories is that that's all we are, we're our stories. And so I feel incredibly privileged to be telling stories and having people trust me with their stories on this beautiful land. And I had the privilege of knowing um, Alan King also, and I took a documentary filmmaking class before I'd ever made a film. And it's pretty surreal to be accepting this award tonight, um, all these years later, uh, in honor of Alan King. So thank you very much. Chimigwich, chimigwich, chimigwich. Congratulations, Michelle. Okay, now presenting tonight's award for best production design movies for television and miniseries, we'd like to welcome a veteran of series like Cardinal, Vikings, and The Expanse, and most recently from the Netflix original series, The Umbrella Academy, actor Chris holden Reed. Thanks, Joe. Hey, all you creative superstars. Happy to be here with you tonight. The world shaped by our next four nominees range from the snows of Northern Ontario to the farms of the American South. The nominees for Best production design, movies for television, and miniseries are Dennis Davenport, Cardinal, Until the Night, Marianne Weehawk, Christmas 9 to 5, Jean Bicot, Glass Houses, Britt Doughty, Self-Made, Inspired by the Life of Madam C.J. Walker, and the winner is... Dun, 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 dun. Dennis Davenport, Cardinal, until the night. Congratulations, Dennis. Hey, that's pretty cool. I want to thank Jennifer and Julia, of course, as our producers. But uh, I also want to give a special thanks to Nathan Morlando and Steve Cousins, our DP. Nathan was our director for involving me in every step of the way. It was so much fun. And my main thing is to give the whole award away to my good friend, Rob Gray. Ian Gray, the decorator, and I started the show with, with Rob, and uh, uh, Rob has passed away, but Rob started Cardinal. Thanks. Congratulations, Dennis. Next up, to present the award for Best Picture Editing, Movies for Television miniseries, please welcome Emmy-nominated and DGC award-winning editor from Schitt's Creek, Paul Weinstock. Thanks, Jewel. Our next nominees are four creatives at the top of their game, but sadly, three of them must be cut out of this award, uh, as there can only be one winner. The nominees for Best Picture Editing, Movies for Television and miniseries are Hugh Elchuk, Cardinal, Until the Night. Sandy Pereira, Cardinal, Until the Night. Leanne Cass, Christmas Chalet. And James Patrick, Chris Watts, Confession of a Killer. And the winner is Sandy Pereira, Cardinal, Until the Night. Congratulations, Sandy. Thank you. 
Um, thanks. Uh, sorry, I wasn't expecting it. Uh, it's truly an honor to be nominated amongst so much talent here tonight. Congratulations to everyone who's been nominated. Uh, it was a dream to work on the show. Uh, such a stellar series. Thank you, Julia and Jennifer, for bringing this show to life. Um, thank you to our wonderful director and visionary, Nathan Morlando, for his tireless, tireless effort through the whole series. Um, through this whole season. And thank you to our cast and crew, especially our post crew, Rolling Pictures and Sim. Special shout out to Hugh Elchuk, my partner in crime in this season. You deserve this too. Um, we worked really hard together and it was a lot of fun. And um, thank you to the DGC and thank you to my family for supporting me and letting me do what I do. Thank you very much. Congratulations, okay. To present this evening's award for best sound editing, movies for television and miniseries, join me in welcoming star of the DGC award-winning international hit series, Murdoch Mysteries, Iana Bison. Thanks, Jill. From the suspense of every creek to the joy of every Christmas bell, our next nominees entranced us with each sound, and silence. The nominees for best sound editing movies for television and miniseries are Cardinal Until the Night, Christmas Nine to Five, Christmas Chalet, Matchmaker Mysteries, A Killer Engagement. Escaping the next cult, a mother's fight to save her daughter. And the winner is Cardinal Until the Night. David McCallum, Barry Gilmore, Jane Tattersall, David Caprell, and Brandon Mercer. Congratulations. Oh, here to accept on behalf of the team is David. Cardinal, uh, this makes me very happy. I love this show so much. I'm thrilled to accept the DGC award on behalf of the entire sound team and to offer my congratulations to all the nominees this year. I have to start by thanking Jennifer, Julia, and everyone at Sienna Films. Thank you for bringing us four seasons of this incredible series. It's been such a pleasure to craft the sound of Cardinal and Algonquin Bay along with you. Thank you to fellow DGCers on the post side, Adam Roberts, Sandy Pereira, Hugh Elchuk, and Paul T. Brooks. And of course, thank you to Nathan Morlando for the wonderful collaboration that we got to share on season four. And lastly, I offer my personal heartfelt thank you to our two lead actors, Billy Campbell and Corinne Vaness, for sharing four incredible seasons together. I can't thank them enough for the support they gave us in Post Sound. It was a wonderful collaboration that I will cherish for the rest of my career. Thank you all very much. Congratulations to everybody at Cardinal. To present the final award of the night for outstanding directorial achievement in movies for television and miniseries, we are proud to welcome the showrunner of The Killing, I have to say that, I was on it, hi Vina, and director of the film, The Lie, just released by Amazon Studios, DGC director, Vina Sood. Hi Joel, thank you so much. Whether one story told over the course of an entire season or a feature length film made for the small screen, the directors in our next category have excelled in long form storytelling on television. The nominees for outstanding directorial achievement in movies for television and miniseries are Michael Nankin, Chris Watts, Confessions of a Killer, Caroline Lebrecht, No Good Deed, Nathan Morlando, Cardinal, Until the Night. Ali Liebert, Amish Abduction. Winifred Young, Mystery 101, Dead Talk. And the winner is Winifred Young, Mystery 101, Dead Talk. Hi everyone. Um, wow, I am so thrilled and honored with this award for directing Mystery 101 Dead Talk. Um, 
I want to thank all of the DGC membership, the awards committees, and the juries for this incredible honor. And um, the work of all the fellow nominees were so spectacular, and I want to acknowledge them here today. Um, Michael Nankin, uh, Caroline Lebrecht, uh, Nathan Morlando, and my dear friend, Ali Liebert. Your work uh, was so amazing to watch. Um, I want to also thank the team in DGCBC who welcomed me with open arms and supported me all the way. I couldn't have done it without you. Um, stay safe, everyone. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Winifred. And congratulations to all our winners and nominees tonight. Join us tomorrow evening at 8 p.m. for the final evening of the DGC Awards Social Distancing Edition when NSS Murr will be here to honor the best in Canadian feature film. Thanks, everybody. Stay sane, stay safe, all that stuff. Lots of love. One more.